So, another mailbag item. This is fairly large, so I thought I'd just do this one. And uh, we'll see what we've got in here. A uh, test lead set. There's some clip on probes as well. Now, although it doesn't say it, this is from Banggood. There you go, from last time. <laughs> so, hold on a second, I'll pause this. Alright, so these arrived really quickly. The last time I got something from Banggood took about one half months for some reason it took ages. I don't know why it was. Um, somehow it got delayed on the way here. Um, these arrived in about a week, so that's pretty good. So let's have a look and see what we got. So these are some uh, piercing probes or something. Is that how they work? I don't know what I'm doing with these. There we go. Alright, yeah, it's piercing probe, so you can just hopefully get it focus. You can see there's a pin in there. So it pierces the cables. So you uh, pull that in, stick the cable around it. It's fine, so I can. Yeah, it's probably too small. I haven't really got anything here to show you right now. So these are fairly inexpensive, and they've got a uh, 4 mil jack on them. So these would be really handy. Again, courtesy of Banggood, these are sent to me at no cost um, for my review. So thanks to Banggood for doing that. Here's an actual kit. So this is an item in itself, and this is a separate kit which also wanted. Um, let's see what we've got in here. So we've got some nice big crocodile clips. That's nice and strong. Good strong spring on those. Nice shaped teeth. So it actually go around rather than sliding it out. You can see it actually grabs towards the end first, rather than the back first, which things makes makes things slide out. So that's a nice design. So it just shows to me that's good quality. Um, you know, that's well thought out. It's got like a little hook piece on the end there as well for holding on that way. Um, a grabber, so a big wrong grabber. Right, so that looks nice. Again, it's all four mil, four mil banana jack. So we've got uh, also got a another grabber here, which is a little interesting. How's this one work? Oh, that's a piercing one as well. So. Um, it's actually got like a sprung section on the back there, so a bit like the first one I showed. Put the light on it. So you put the cable in there. Right, right now you don't see a pin, but if I slide that back, you can see the pin there. So it's got a shallower depth than these ones. These ones have a, obviously that whole depth there, so they go to quite a thick insulation. So this would be better suited for thinner insulation stuff. But uh, these feel quite robust actually, they feel quite good. Um, a pair of those. And we've got some standard probes with a sheath over them. Now, that's got a screw on tip. So it screws in, which is interesting. The uh, it's a bit longer than normal that part, but it probably doesn't matter. But uh, let's try yeah one of these things. Yeah, it still goes in fine. So, but that tip is it's fairly sharp. It's not super sharp. Um, I think it's probably sharp enough. It's adequate. I mean, yeah, I think that's probably fine. And also the insulating sleeve, so you don't short anything out if you're just trying to use the tips alone. And uh, some mini crocodile clips. Now these 
are not quite as good as the bigger ones, I don't think. It doesn't have the same issue there, with, well, the same design where it, it grabs towards the front first, so it doesn't slip off, but these are more parallel. But it probably doesn't really matter. Um, again, it's got that hook bit on the front there, so you can actually stick a, a wire through the end and grab the, grab the wire. So, um, sort of end on like so. But, uh, yeah, so that all seems alright. So, a pair of those. So, this is a nice little kit. Um, quality feels fine. Let's see, look at the wire. Okay, it's a nice silicon lead. Nice, that's actually quite a beefy, thick insulation on there. It's quite thick. I don't know what the um, actual true current carrying capacity of these things is. You should, they usually rated like 10 amps, same, but I've always skeptical about that kind of thing. Even good quality ones say 10 amps, but the wires are very thin, so I don't really think that's true. But there is supposed to be Cat 3, 1000 volt. And so it's one meter lead, and it's nice silicon. That's that's really nice. I like those. And uh, also bananas at each end. Let's get this out. And it's let's stick these ones on. Since I've trying to view two things, so let's plug in there just fine. Yep. Let's try the ones that came with it. So it's a little bit looser that one. It doesn't actually go right down to the base, but it probably doesn't matter. But it's a little bit looser. And there is double insulated things, so you can't actually like, touch the ends. Um, it's a nice little safety feature. So we've got those see the ends in there. So you can't actually touch anything that's live if you've got one in plugged into a power supply or something. Or you know, clamped onto a mains voltage and you're trying to change probe points. Uh, you know, test points on a meter or something, you can't short, you know, touch something that's live and kill yourself. Um, let's try these little ones. It goes inside that sleeve. Oh, yeah, okay. And it all feels nice, it's all good. Yeah. Try on these ones. Yep. They'll feel nice and positive connection, they don't feel you know, sloppy or anything like that. Um, yep, same for those, it all feels good. This is a nice little probe set. So obviously I'll be putting a link down below for these, and um, you know, because of you know the Banggood sponsorship there with a sending the free stuff for the review, and uh, the best bit is I get to keep it. So I've been wanting some piercing probes for a long time. Now I've got two sets, which is brilliant. Two different sizes, two different styles. Um, I think these were. I think this probe set was about. Well, these ones here, I think it's about three or four dollars offhand. Have a look at the links, follow the links, and then have a look. And um, this kit here, I don't remember that was offhand actually. Um, wasn't that expensive? I think it was about 20 bucks. So don't quote me on that. Go and, have, go and follow the link and go and have a look. Um, but it's a fairly cheap set, considering how much you can pay for multimeter probe sets. Um, you know, it's it was well worth the money especially for me because it's free so uh, yeah so that's all nice I'm happy with that so thanks Banggood good on you follow the links click on them distract <laughs>